Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to look at how easy it is to uh, uh, shuffle how channels are uh, ordered in uh, images in Manifold. And uh, we're going to work with this image right here, which is uh, the portrait of Ginevra da Benci that uh, Leonardo da Benci uh, created. It hangs in the National Gallery of Art. We're going to use the portrait of a, of a person because when we shuffle channels to change uh, red, green, and blue arrangements, sometimes it's easier to uh, see what the visual effect is of that when you use a portrait of a person as opposed to uh, a uh, geospatial type of image such as a uh, satellite photo or an aerial photo where it's not clear what the image should be in the first place. So anyway, we're going to work with this photo. The workflow we're doing here applies exactly the same uh, when we uh, work with a geospatial image like uh, an aerial photo or satellite photo. So we can do it the same way. We're using Manifold Release 9, the latest edition. And if you like, you can do this in the free Manifold Viewer. Download it and try it and work at home. There's no need for a license. You can just download view Viewer and use it for however long you, you like. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, style panel here in the contents pane. And that shows how the image is arranged. Uh, different images, which are classically called RGB images because that, those are the display outputs, red, green, and blue pixels in the, uh, in the uh, image uh, on the display monitor, uh, can use different channel arrangements. Some image data files actually store the data in terms of blue channel first, green channel second, red channel third for each pixel. And others use a different ordering, for example, red channel first, green channel uh, second, blue channel uh, third. This particular image, as we can see, uses channel 0 here for the blue output, channel 1 for the green output, channel 2 for the red output. output. This is zero-based channel ordering, so it's the first channel, the second channel, and the third channel are in B, G, R ordering. Most images, which people call RGB images, are actually B, G, R images in terms of how the data is stored. Some, however, are not. Some are RGB images in terms of you know, channel 0 is, a, is assigned to, ch to the red channel, channel 1 is to green, channel 0 is to blue. Manifold can work with any of these different channel arrangements because Manifold uh, decouples how images are actually interpreted, how channels are interpreted for display purposes from how the data is actually stored in the file. So we can have uh, uh, data files that use images in almost any different channel arrangement and uh, the, we can assign whatever display outputs we want. This uh, channel arrangement here makes that easy to do. So for example, we can, uh, instead of clicking on these manually to choose uh, whatever whatever we want, we can do it in one click to say use BGR channel arrangement, one click to use RGB channel arrangement, and so on. If we use RGB channel arrangement where we tell it to use uh, the first channel for red, the second channel for one, and the third channel for blue, I'm going to click update style, that generates uh, the wrong image mapping because this particular image is set up so that the first channel is should be blue, second green, third red. Uh, that's easy to fix by going right back there to that channel mapping, clicking update style, and the image appears correctly. Normally all this works automatically, but sometimes we may be working with images from different sources where one image uses BGR channel ordering, the other image uses uh, RGB channel ordering, and so forth, and we'd like to rearrange the channels to, suff to shuffle the channels in the image within the actual data. When we make these changes right here in the style channel, we're not actually changing the data, we're just changing how the data is interpreted by Manifold. But sometimes we might actually want to change the data. Normally we'd like to leave the data as is because typically when we import an image from some uh, product, uh, there's a reason why that product had that original channel ordering. For example, there's some software packages which always require that the images with which they work are in RGB channel ordering. Others always require them to be in BGR channel ordering. So you have to leave the image in that order uh, if you want to bring it into Manifold, edit it, and then export it back out. Uh, but sometimes we want to take an image from one type of package and export it to another. We want to shuffle the channels within the actual data. Uh, that's easy to do. And the way we do that in this case is we use the transform uh, panel and we use the expressions. And we use in particular this p expression right there. I've copied that from uh, uh, a, a comments file where I saved that expression so I don't have to keep retyping it over and over. Uh, and uh, I just uh, pasted it right there. Uh, what this says, it uses the tile channels function. And by the way, the original looked like this, but since that doesn't all fit in one line, uh, what I've done is I've added an extra new line right there. It, the expressions pane doesn't care about new lines. It's like all SQL expressions, white space doesn't matter. So you can tidy this up as however you like to make it more legible. What we're using here is the, ch is the tile channels function. And the tile channels function takes two arguments. It takes the name of a tile, which of course we've, we're using the same tile, and it takes a, uh, a vector that's three numbers in a row. And those three numbers in a row tell us 
what uh, what order we want for uh, uh, for the channels. In this case, it's saying take channel two and put it in the first position. Uh, that's uh, take let's take the third channel, put it in the first position. Take channel one, which is the second channel, put it in the second position. So leave that as is, and take the first channel in the data and put it in the third position in the data. So tile channels using this these two one zero numbers reshuffles it. Uh, manifold, the moment you put a valid expression, we'll, we'll show you a preview of what it's about to do. If we wanted to s use the same channel ordering that was in the original image, channel 0, 1, and 2, it'll give us a preview that shows that's unchanged because that's the channel ordering which is currently used. The 0 channel's in the first position, the number 1 channel's in the number 1 position, uh, is in the second position, number in the 2 channel, the 3rd channel's in the 3rd position. Instead, we're going to swap 0 and and two to make it this channel ordering, like that. Uh, if I commit this by clicking update field, I will actually change the data in the image itself. Uh, Manifold will go through that image and it'll do exactly what the preview shows. It's going to swap the third channel with the uh, first channel throughout the entire image and save that. Now if I don't want to do that, if I want to create say a new image instead, instead of this update field button, I can click down here and change it to uh, add component. And what that'll do, that'll make a copy of this component, that'll and, and make a new copy of the image, and it'll save the results of this this operation, this little itty bitty expression here, uh, into that uh, new image. So let's do that. And uh, for the options, that'll show us what the name of the image will be. That's, those are kind of clunky names. What the heck? Let's, uh, let's use those. So now I'm going to click add component. And here in the project pane, we see that it created an image in the images table. If I click open that images table, I can see that uh, it uses different channel ordering. The actual data uses different channel ordering so that when that different channel ordering is interpreted using uh, BGR ordering where the, the first channel is blue, the second channel is green, and the third channel is red, that doesn't look right. Instead, we need to use RGB ordering. And so what I can now do is I can, can command style to make a different interpretation of that to use RGB ordering so that the, the first channel goes to the red output, the second channel goes to the green output, and the third channel goes to the blue output. If I click update style, we see that it looks correct. What we've done is we've taken the original image and we've shuffled the channels in it so the actual channels in the data have changed. Now if we like, we can store this image out to uh, software which requires uh, all images to be in RGB ordering, data ordering, and uh, we can edit this image within Manifold. We can do all sorts of manipulations that we want. We save it out to, to formats that such uh, packages use. Uh, the image will make sense. So what we've done here is we've taken the original image, which was in BGR ordering, and we've reshuffled the uh, channels into RGB ordering. And this is a way of transforming images, so which are used, which may be originated in one package that can be used now in a different package that requires different channel ordering. As you can see, th this all was instantaneous. You can also see that, that Manifold during the, uh, the transform phase when we put in that expression uh, was uh, giving, uh, uh, giving us a preview that's extremely handy because when we use that preview, we can use it to uh, avoid any uh, mistakes that we make. Uh, and we can also try different channel combinations if we're not quite sure what is the right channel combination to use to see which one looks right. Previews are extremely useful in that respect. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Uh, don't be shy about uh, using expressions. They're just a fantastic way of manipulating images. They're a whole lot easier than scripting. They're actually a whole lot easier than writing a full SQL query because you don't have to write all the infrastructure of the SQL query for doing things like updating the field or uh, changing it to create a new component and updating that through add component. They're a lot easier to use. And remember, you can use all this in the free viewer as well. The free viewer does it, works exactly the same way. And the free viewer has no strings attached. You can download it, use it forever. Uh, there's no need to register. There's no need to pay anything. There's no need to have, there's no adware. There's no request for donations. None of that stuff. Just download it, use it forever, however you like. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from the Manifold channel. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.